Hi, we're here with Rod from Rod's Foods, uh, a brand that many, many people have heard about before. But since we caught up with him here at Reef Currents, we thought we'd give him a chat and see uh, if he has some questions for us. So we know that you guys, everyone's familiar with the, uh, the Rod's, the original blend, right? Um, blend, yeah. But I think a lot of people don't know that you have the types of foods for herbivores or fish only or corals for those kind of foods. Um, so how would, what would one think about when they want to use rods? What, what's the thing that separates you guys in terms of your frozen foods? Well, um, we were the people that started, um, you know, creating all these blends of food using human grade ultra fresh seafoods. Okay. And, um, we use whole animals. Um, a lot of the people that are doing what we do now, just using tails and cast off bits and pieces. Um, okay. I think our astaxanthins are superior and uh, unique to our blends. I don't believe any. I was a fish breeder myself back in the day, so I've run the gamut on the different of types of an yeah. astaxanthins and stuff like that to make the fish color up. And the stuff I have in our blends now is by far superior to anything else I've ever used. Um, whole animal, ultra fresh, human grade seafoods. Um. So when we use the rods original, um, you know, there's some larger chunks in there. So say I have, I'm running a smaller tank, I'm running smaller firefish, I'm running these smaller, you know, pygmy type angels. What fish would I use for that type of your, your blend food? for you these? Know, I, I'm, I still, the original blend is always the go-to. Um, sometimes there are some little bit bigger chunks in there, but uh, you know most people usually have some shrimp that'll come and snag those up, or uh, some fish, or uh, you know, cr hermit crabs and stuff like that. Okay. Um, what about? But it is handmade too, so you know it varies from batch to batch. You know. Of course. Some of the employees, you know, are a little lazy <laughs> on a Friday or something. They may skip a chop or two or whatever. So sometimes there are some bigger chunks, and sometimes. So what about some of our tanks, you know, we get these finicky fish that, that kind of get into our tanks, you know, maybe even copper bands or, or seahorses or these specialized diets. Does Rod have us covered on that? Yeah, actually, again, I'm still going to always push the original. <laughs> However, um, Pacific Plankton, which is in our original, everything that we have is in our original, but some of our products were worthy of their own label. Um, our fish eggs are really good for finicky eaters. Okay. Um, our Pacific plankton is identical to a mysis in size and shape, but, oh. but it's from the ocean, so it's got a more natural omega-3, and the astaxanthins are, there's a natural astaxanthin, they're nice pinkish, purplish, maroon coloration. So a nice to, color to attract those fish yeah. over there, get them interested and in it. And the protein levels are right up there with mysis shrimp too. Um, the large Canadian mysis uh, is what they're- I may have to take you up on that, because I have a queen angel, she's kind of picky right now. She's smaller, she's a juvenile, so she's kind of, She's kind of picky right now, and so I'm really trying to get her pumped up <laughs> because we she's can, uh, she's hitting the food. But you know, I think I'm gonna have to give us a shot on that one. Get you a sample of the plankton. Well, look, Rod, I don't want to take too much time. You definitely have people coming by. I appreciate you talking to us. My pleasure. And uh, we'll get you out there and let everyone know about rods. Not that you don't already know about it. So, <laughs> all right, Rod. Thanks. Thank you. All right, we're back. This is Mike with Brandon um, from Ultra Corals with Zoanthids.com. Um, it seems like zoanthids are a pretty hot thing nowadays. I mean, that's really what everyone's, the colors, the, the variations, the things like that. Um, so what are, you, what are you finding right now in, in times with that, uh, the zoanthids that are really hot that people are after or, you know? They definitely want the bright color. So they always, every, everyone always wants the brightest. Um, and then as far as uniqueness goes, Mm -hmm. I look for the unique ones as well, and I pretty much just try to find what I like, and then a lot of people seem to like those as well. All right. So in terms of zoanthids, so we have, you know a lot of people like they start their tanks and they want to get into corals, and they go like, oh, zoanthids. They're the soft corals. They're they're easier to take, but not true, right? We definitely. Oh, definitely for sure. They, like, there's some zoanthid morphs that just seem to be melters. They you know um, they're really sensitive and they have a really tough time, especially when you frag them. But then on the other, on the on the flip side, there are some zoanthids that are just super hardy, bulletproof, and everyone can keep them, and they grow extremely well. Sometimes too well. Exactly, <laughs> and very invasive. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Well, for a starter coral, a lot of people are looking for that. They want something that's going to cover things well and be able to you know fill out their tank. So if you were gonna if you were gonna throw out some starter corals, some of the names that people are looking for. If I was going to add those to my tank because I just want to get going, what are some of the more common names that people might want to look for? I would definitely look for like Rastas, uh, Bam Bams, Scrambled Eggs are a really nice one. Um, and then Sunny Dees, they grow really well, they're beautiful, super bright, and yeah, I mean they're just a classic. Yeah. Really 
Oh, Utter Chaos. Well. Utter Chaos. Yep. Good one to look right there. So, um, so for Ultra Corals, um, do you guys ship and, and you know? Absolutely. Well, Ultra Corals well, is kind of kind of funny because <laughs> Zoanthids.com, that's the main company. Okay. Ultra Corals is just my addiction. Like oh, everything okay. that I've hoarded over the years, I've we put on Ultra Corals. So really, Zoanthids.com is the company. Um, and the reason why we didn't want to put other corals on Zoanthus is because people use Zoanthus.com as kind of a directory. Of oh, okay. ZoID. So we're going out to find what we're looking for, and then we're going to go to Ultra Corals, and we're going to order them from Brandon from Ultra Corals, well, right? You can, you can order all the Zoanthus from Zoanthus.com. We just don't add any other species of okay. different corals on Zoanthus. Just Zoanthus and Zoanthus.com. Okay. Perfect. And I, I, I certainly see you, know, you get in your tank here, you have some other corals, not just zoanthids. Yeah, so um, the other corals you can find at ultracorals.com. Okay. So we can certainly get, we got, we got all kinds in there. We got some SPS in there. We got ACANs. There's like some Monies in there. We got some, all kinds of stuff in there. I love Yeah, Blast and Mooses are good. Perfect. Well, I, you know, this is, again, one of the main reasons we came down here was to check out the Zoanthus.com thing because he's becoming addicted. Our <laughs> our director back here is becoming to, to Zoanthus for he's addicted. So, um, but again, this is Brandon from Zoanthus.com and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Good to meet you. Yeah. Do you have a card by any chance or?